Hey guys, my name is Angelique and welcome to my channel. For today's fitness video, I'm going to be changing it up a little bit and we're going to be filming a workout in my gym. So what you can expect from this video is we're going to go through a warm up and a full lower body workout and what we're going to be focusing on and talking about is form. Form is so important when lifting weights and number one, it's to prevent injury and also to make sure that you're engaging the proper movements through each exercise. So I really hope you enjoy this workout and that you find it really helpful. For a lot of people in some areas, gyms are still open and I think this would be a good workout for you to do um, if your gyms are open and if not, you can do this workout at home with minimal equipment. All right, now let's work. Right, so here's the snapshot of the workout. Feel free to screenshot this so you can refer back to it during your workout. And here's how the workout is structured after, but for this particular workout, I decided to do some glute activation as my warm up. So I used a small circle hip band and, um, and it's one of the rubber ones, not the fabric ones. If you have the fabric ones, you can use those as well, but I chose to do use the rubber ones just because this allows me to have a larger range of motion. For the first exercise in this workout, I did a lateral banded walk or a side banded walk. To get this exercise started, your first movement with the bandit around your knees is you slightly sit back like you're going to sit in a chair. So you should have a straight line from your head all the way to your tailbone. And then you're gonna walk sideways. As you're walking sideways, stay strong in your knees, meaning don't allow your knees to cave in. Continue to kind of force them outward and that's really going to activate those glutes and keep those side, you know, the side booty muscles really engaged and really fire up those muscles. Up next, we're going to do a seated abduction. So in this particular exercise, I sat straight up, got the band again just above my knees, my feet are together, and all I'm going to do is force my knees outward, forcing me to again use that side booty. And we're also gonna be using the outer thigh and you're gonna be using the inner thigh to control the motion inward. Each of these exercises are going to be done for one minute each, so set your timer for one minute and that's it we only do one round if you want to do more if you feel like you're not warmed up enough feel free to modify as you see fit but for me i only do one minute and that is plenty for me for the first superset or superset number one i decided to use a landmine attachment so if you don't have a landmine and you just have a barbell you can simply just put the barbell in the corner of a room that you have uh, and be sure to have like a towel or something like that on the end of that barbell so you don't damage the wall. And if you don't have a barbell, feel free to do the same exercise with a dumbbell or two dumbbells and you can modify with a goblet squat or you can hold the weights on your shoulders to do a front squat. And for the superset, you're going to do 12 to 15 reps of the front squat, 12 to 15 reps of the RDL. Give yourself a little break. I think a minute, so anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute is good depending on how you're feeling. And then do that again for three rounds. So three rounds of that superset. You'll find that when you're doing a landmine exercise, you wanna have a little bit of a forward lean. It allows you to kind of really sit back and use the leverage of the landmine to get that proper range of motion. As soon as you finish that last rep of your landmine front squat, you're gonna change your grip and get right into an RDL. 12 to 15 reps again here. Again, form is super important, so you don't wanna arch your back. You want a straight line from the top of your head to your tailbone, sit back, lower the weight down until you feel that stretch in your hammies. Once you feel that stretch, you engage the glutes and you squeeze all the way up. That is your landmine RDL. All right, so for superset number two, we're going to do a reverse lunge and this is alternating. I grab some dumbbells, use whatever weight you want, but again, 12 to 15 reps, really get the blood pumping to those legs. Dumbbells are by your side. If you have a slight forward lean, you're able to engage the glutes a little bit better. And this is an alternating reverse lunge. So again, step back with the left, step back with the right. Alternating lunge, again, with the forward lean. And as you're coming up, you wanna drive your front heel down. So the, the working leg is the leg in the front. And then we get right into squat jumps. No weight needed here. 12 to 15 reps, touch the floor, jump as high as you can for 12 to 15 reps. And again, you're going to do that for three rounds. Take anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute in between sets. And for your final superset, superset number three, we're going to do some hip thrusts. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a bench or a chair. And I used a barbell for my hip thrust. And basically what you're going to do, if you're going to use a barbell, 
get a barbell pad or something to put on top of your hips to place the bar so that the bar isn't digging into your hip bones. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put basically the bottom of your shoulder blades on the edge of the bench or the chair. You're gonna walk your feet out. You're gonna raise your hips up. Your knees should be directly above your heels. That way you have kind of that perfect 90 degree angle. Your chin should be tucked and kind of facing forward. And really it's the small motion of your hips rising up rather than your back arching. When you're thrusting up, you're squeezing your glutes. So you're not arching your back. The motion is derived from the movement of your hips upward. And in order to get those hips up, you have to squeeze those glutes and it also gets your hamstrings involved as well. That's your hip thrust. If you don't have a barbell, you can grab two dumbbells, put them kind of on the top of your hip, and that can be your added resistance. And also to add another layer of resistance, you can also add a booty band around the top of your legs, just like as if you were going to do a seated abduction. So that again has engages more muscles and makes you keep your knees out and keeps your glutes engaged that way. And for your last and final exercise, we're going to do a side lying hip raise. So for me, I like to um, rise up on my elbows. So I have my elbow and my shoulder are in alignment. I have laying on my side. I have both of my knees kind of stacked. And when you raise your hip, your top leg raises, your glutes are engaged and your core is tight. So you don't want any arch in your back. You don't want your core to be loose and sloppy. You wanna engage the core and you're gonna do 12 to 15 reps each side. And that is superset number three. This is a quick and effective workout. For me, this is how I structure most of my gym workouts. I don't have a lot of time, so I like to be efficient in the gym and supersets are the way to get it done for me. There are other times where I finished a quick superset workout and also had some time to throw in cardio. So I was able to do maybe 15, 20 minute run, get on the bike, walk with the kids, whatever the case may be. And as always, no matter whether you throw on some cardio at the end or your lift was the end of your workout, be sure to stretch. Stretching is amazing for you and all it's going to do is increase your mobility and prevent injury. And as athletes, that should be your highest priority. So I really hope you enjoyed this workout. Again, it's a little bit of a different format, but now that I've given a tour of my home gym and I've got lots of equipment, I'd like to provide some maybe inspiration for those of you that are maybe building home gyms and you have a ton of this equipment, or um, if, you are, if your gyms are open in your area and you need a little bit of inspiration. Sometimes going into gyms can be intimidating for people because there's so much equipment and you don't know what to do. I hope this helps you focus your workouts and also be efficient in the gym. I really hope you enjoyed this workout and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more like this and I can't wait for you to join me for the next workout. <laughs>